Hey there, future coders. Let's get ready to chat with computers in Python. Python isn't just about those slithering reptiles in the wild. It's also a super neat coding language that you can use to speak directly to computers. Just like we need to follow rules in English or Spanish, Python also has its own set of rules. If we follow them, we can create awesome programs and our computer will understand exactly what we want it to do. So let's dive in and start our exciting adventure into the world of coding with Python. Have you heard of a bug in your program? Nope, not the type that crawls or flies, but it's a funny story how we got this term. Imagine this, way back then, computers were as big as your classroom and actual bugs could crawl inside and cause some serious trouble. That's how we started calling coding errors bugs. So when your code has a bug, your computer sends out an error message. But don't worry, this is just your computer's way of giving you a heads up about a problem. It's like a clue in mystery game guiding you to track down the error and fix it. Now let's learn a little bit about variables. Imagine variables as your own special virtual treasure chests where you can store all sorts of awesome goodies or in the world of coding data. Variables have two key parts. First, there's the name. Think of it like the tag on your treasure chest. Then there's the value. That's the precious item you've tucked away inside. And here's a handy tip. Pick variable names that give you a clue about what's inside. It's kind of like naming your skateboard Speedster instead of Fluffy. It just makes sense. Let's keep this in mind as we dive into the world of variable names. All right, here we go. Let's master the rules for naming variables. Start your variable name with a letter, similar to how we begin sentences. When your variable is a combination of two words, connect them with an underscore. It's as simple as I underscore color, smiley underscore face, or imagi underscore one, two, three. You can create a unique blend using letters, numbers, and underscores. But remember, special characters like at, exclamation mark, or the dollar sign, they're not allowed. They disrupt the harmony, so it's best to avoid them. Lastly, Python differentiates between upper and lowercase, treating age with the uppercase A and age with the lowercase A as two separate variables. So it's crucial to remember this while naming your variables. All right, we've come to the end of today's lesson, future programmers. If you're excited to learn more, please remember to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating Python journeys. Also, don't forget to check out the Imagi app and Imagi Charms, your fun coding buddies that make learning to code a breeze. Keep practicing, keep coding, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Until then, happy coding.